The midday sun hung high above the desert landscape, its scorching rays casting long shadows across the rocky terrain. Dylan E.T., the enigmatic warrior, moved silently through the canyon, his mind preoccupied with the relentless pursuit of the Empire. His steps were careful, his eyes constantly scanning the horizon for any sign of danger. The twin estocs, tempo and rhythm, hung at his sides, their hilts adorned with the intricate 3D GR patterns, ever ready to spring into action. As Dylan E.T. made his way through a narrow pass, the air grew still, and an unsettling silence enveloped the area. Out of the corner of his eye, he caught a glimpse of a figure clad in dark robes, emerging from the shadows. The figure moved with an unnatural grace, its presence exuding a palpable aura of malevolence. A Sith messenger had come, a harbinger of the Empire's relentless reach. Well met, Dylan E.T., the messenger intoned, his voice dripping with disdain. You have eluded us for too long. The Empire demands your submission. Dylan E.T. regarded the Sith with a steely gaze, his fingers brushing the hilts of tempo and rhythm. I've no intention of submitting to your tyranny, he replied, his voice calm yet resolute. The messenger's lips curled into a cruel smile. Then you leave me no choice. With a flick of his wrist, a crimson blade sprang to life in his hand, humming with deadly energy. The duel began with a clash of blades, the Sith's crimson saber meeting the twin estocs in a shower of sparks. Dylan E.T. moved with unparalleled precision, his thumb deftly thumbing the number color sides on the hilts of tempo and rhythm, generating complex behavior patterns with each strike. The Estocs danced in his hands, executing the phonetic additive swordplay with a fluidity that seemed almost otherworldly. With each strike, Dylan E.T. activated different maneuvers. An orange and purple combination unleashed a retaliation, the inverted addition of two 3D GR striking down leftward, forcing the Sith to retreat. Red and yellow hilts executed a duet, Synchronized addition of 2-3 DGR, tempos oriented addition, and rhythms leftward addition converging on the target with lethal precision. The messenger snarled in frustration, his movements growing more desperate as Dylan E.T.'s superior technique became evident. Blue and green hilts enacted convergence, a cross-block maneuver adding 2-3 DGR, their energy fields clashing with the Sith's saber, momentarily disarming him. Suddenly, the sky darkened as massive warships approached, their ominous silhouettes blotting out the sun. The ground trembled as dropships descended, releasing battalions of clone troopers who swarmed the battlefield, their blaster fire adding to the chaos. Dylan E.T. knew he was outnumbered, but he stood undeterred. With a final, powerful strike, he drove the Sith messenger back, the dark figure crumpling to the ground in defeat. He turned to face the oncoming troopers, his mind racing with strategies. The battle raged on, Dylan E.T. weaving through the chaos with the grace of a master swordsman. Tempo and rhythm struck with unerring accuracy, each move a testament to his skill and resolve. But as the clone troopers closed in, he realized that this was not a fight he could win alone. With a final glance at the fallen messenger, Dylan E.T. retreated into the shadows, his heart heavy with the knowledge that the Empire's reach was ever expanding. The cliffhanger of his escape left the outcome uncertain, but one thing was clear, the battle was far from over, and Dylan E.T.'s fight against the Empire had only just begun. Dash 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 dash. With the cacophony of battle behind him, Dylan E.T. moved with practiced stealth through the narrow crevices and hidden paths of the rocky terrain. The clone troopers, though relentless, had lost his trail amid the labyrinthine passages. He slipped into a natural alcove, his breath coming in measured, silent puffs, his mind calculating his next. Move. Emerging from the shadows, he found himself at the edge of a desolate camp. 
Tents flapped idly in the desert wind, remnants of a recent encampment. Dylan's eyes scanned the area, noting the telltale signs of hurried abandonment, scattered supplies, half-eaten rations, and extinguished fires. Something about the stillness unsettled him. As he moved further into the camp, his hand never leaving the hilt of tempo, a presence made itself known. The temperature seemed to drop, and the air grew thick with a suffocating sense of dread. From the deepest shadow, a figure emerged, cloaked in black, breathing with the ominous rhythm of a dark mechanized heart. Darth Vader. Dylan E.T. felt a shiver run down his spine as he confronted the Sith Lord. The twin estocs, tempo and rhythm, thrummed with energy, ready for the inevitable confrontation. So, this is where the trail leads, Vader's voice resonated, a deep, mechanical growl that echoed through the empty camp. You cannot escape your fate, Dylan E.T. The Force is with you, but so am I. Dylan E.T. squared his shoulders, his gaze unwavering. I've faced many of your kind, Vader. I'm not afraid of you. Vader's response was a cold, humorless laugh. Bravery without power is meaningless. You will learn the true nature of the Force. The air crackled with tension as the two warriors faced off. Dylan E.T. thumbed the number color sides on the hilts of tempo and rhythm, generating a sequence of complex maneuvers. The estocs seemed to glow with an inner light, ready to channel the intricate phonetic additive swordplay that had become his signature. With a sudden, fluid motion, Dylan E.T. launched himself at Vader, the estoc slicing through the air with deadly precision. Vader met his attack with a crimson blade, the two forces colliding in a burst of energy. Dylan's moves were a symphony of strikes and parries, each motion calculated, each strike deliberate. Orange and purple hilts enacted retaliation, Dylan's inverted addition of two 3D GR striking down leftward. Vader's saber met the attack, but Dylan's fluid transition into a red and yellow duet, synchronized addition of two 3D GR, caught the Sith Lord off guard, pushing him back a step. Vader's strength and mastery of the dark side were formidable, but Dylan's precision and adaptability were unparalleled. The battle became a dance of light and dark, of quicksilver speed against brute strength. Dylan's blue and green convergence, a cross-block maneuver adding two 3D GR, deflected Vader's powerful overhead strike, creating a momentary opening. But Vader was relentless, his saber movements swift and unyielding. Dylan felt the weight of each clash, the sheer power of the Sith Lord pressing against his defenses. He executed a Viper and Red Awakening, rhythm striking with initiatory activation while Tempo held Viper, their energies adding another 3D GR to the battlefield. Just as the tide seemed to turn, a blaster bolt whizzed past Dylan's head, reminding him of the clone troopers who were still scouring the area. He couldn't afford to be distracted. With a burst of energy, Dylan disengaged, leaping back and putting some distance between himself and Vader. This isn't over, Vader, he said, his voice steady despite the tension. The Empire won't find me so easily. Vader's mask tilted, regarding him with a cold, mechanical gaze. Run while you can, Dylan E.T. The galaxy is vast, but there is no escape from the Empire's reach. Dylan E.T. turned and disappeared into the shadows once more, his mind already working on the next steps. The encounter had been a reminder of the formidable enemies he faced, but also of his own growing strength and the unyielding will that drove him. The battle was far from over, and the saga of Dylan E.T. would continue, written in the stars and forged in the fires of conflict. Dash 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 dash. Dylan E.T. knew that to stand a chance against Darth Vader, he needed the high ground. The brief. Retreat was enough to scope out the higher vantage point. 
With deft agility, he scaled the rocky cliffside, positioning himself above the Sith Lord. The advantage was now his. As Vader scanned the empty camp below, Dylan took a deep breath, aligning the hilts of tempo and rhythm. He thumbed the number color sides to activate retaliation, preparing for the powerful strike. With a leap, he launched himself from the cliff, descending upon Vader with the force of a comet. Vader's instincts were sharp, and he raised his crimson blade to parry. But Dylan's strike was precise, the inverted addition of two 3DGR channeling a fierce energy that sent sparks flying. Vader staggered back, momentarily taken aback by the sheer ferocity of the attack. Impressive, Vader growled, regaining his stance. But you cannot win. Dylan E.T. landed gracefully, his twin estocks humming with energy. I've heard that before he retorted, moving seamlessly into the next maneuver. With a flick of his wrists, he executed the red and yellow duet, the synchronized addition of 2-3-DGR creating a dazzling display of skill and power. Vader countered with a powerful swing, but Dylan's blue and green convergence was ready, the cross-block maneuver adding 2-3-DGR to intercept the strike. The battlefield became a flurry of light and movement, each combatant pushing the other to their limits. Dylan's strategy was clear, to use the high ground advantage to disrupt Vader's rhythm and press the attack. He transitioned into Viper and Red Awakening, rhythm striking with initiatory activation while Tempo held Viper, adding another 3DGR to the fray. The clash of weapons echoed through the canyon, a symphony of battle that seemed to resonate with the very rocks around them. Vader, sensing the intensity of Dylan's assault, unleashed a wave of dark side energy. Dylan felt the oppressive force pressing against him, but his resolve was unshakable. He summoned the strength from deep within, channeling the energy of the three DGR hilts. Orange and purple hilts executed retaliation once more, the synchronic inverted addition striking down leftward with renewed vigor. Vader's defenses wavered, the force of Dylan's assault driving him back. But the Sith Lord was not so easily defeated. With a roar, he lunged forward, his crimson blade slicing through the air. Dylan met him with a flurry of strikes, the Estocks moving in perfect harmony. The blue and green convergence created another cross block, adding two more 3DGR to the battlefield. Suddenly, the sound of approaching warships filled the air, their shadows darkening the sky. Dylan knew the arrival of clone troopers was imminent, but he couldn't let that distract him. His focus remained unbroken, his moves precise and relentless. With a final, powerful maneuver, Dylan executed Viper and Orange Complexity, rhythm striking rightward and inverted while Tempo held Viper position, adding 3DGR. The combined force of the strike created a visual resonance, the energy crackling around them. Vader staggered, his defenses breached for a crucial moment. Dylan seized the opportunity, pressing the attack with the full force of his skill and determination. But just as victory seemed within reach, the first wave of clone troopers descended, their blasters lighting up the battlefield. Dylan E.T. faced the oncoming storm, his mind racing with strategies. He had gained the high ground, but the fight was far from over. As the troopers closed in, he knew he had to think quickly. With one final, defiant look at Vader, Dylan prepared for the next phase of the battle, the saga continuing under the shadow of the Empire's relentless pursuit. Dash 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 dash. The warships hovered ominously above the battlefield, their massive forms casting long shadows over the desolate camp. Clone troopers disembarked from dropships, their blaster fire crisscrossing the dusty air. Dylan E.T. remained poised on the high ground, his twin estocks, tempo and rhythm, glowing with the energy of the 3DGR hilts.
Darth Vader, regaining his composure, stood below, his crimson saber a beacon of menace. The clone troopers fanned out, their blasters trained on Dylan, but he knew the key was to maintain his advantage. With a surge of agility, Dylan leapt from his perch, landing amidst the troopers with the grace of a seasoned warrior. His estocs moved in a blur, executing the red and yellow duet. The synchronized addition of two 3DGR created a defensive barrier, deflecting blaster bolts and sending troopers sprawling. The troopers regrouped, their training evident in their disciplined assault. But Dylan was relentless. Blue and green convergence followed, a cross-block maneuver adding two 3DGR, the energy crackling as he deflected a barrage of blaster fire. His movements were fluid, each strike and block a testament to his mastery of phonetic additive swordplay. Vader watched, his patience seemingly endless. He advanced with measured steps, his presence a dark cloud over the battlefield. Dylan, sensing the Sith Lord's approach, turned his focus to the immediate threat. Orange and purple retaliation struck down leftward, the inverted addition of two 3DGR cutting through troopers who dared to close in. The clone troopers' numbers seemed endless, but Dylan's skill kept him ahead. He thumbed the number color sides of the Estoc hilts, generating a complex sequence of maneuvers. Viper and Red Awakening, Rhythm's initiatory activation and Tempo's Viper Hold added another 3DGR, creating a shield of energy that repelled the relentless blaster fire. Suddenly, a powerful force swept across the battlefield. Vader had finally made his move. His saber struck with the precision of a seasoned warrior, the crimson blade meeting Dylan's estocs in a flurry of sparks. The duel resumed with renewed intensity, each combatant pushing the other to the limits. Dylan's orange and purple echoes resonated through the air, rhythm adding 3DGR leftward towards the anchoring 3DGR while Tempo executed an inverted addition. The visual resonance created by the two added 3DGR momentarily disrupted Vader's rhythm, but the Sith Lord was quick to recover. The clone troopers pressed the attack, their blasters firing in unison. Dylan executed a green and green disarmament, adding two 3DGR and deflecting the incoming fire with precise movements. He moved with a purpose, his strikes calculated to keep the troopers at bay while focusing on the greater threat. Vader, sensing an opportunity, unleashed a powerful strike. Dylan countered with Viper and Blue Equilibrium, Tempo in Viper holding pattern while Rhythm added 3DGR rightward into the landscape. The energy fields collided, creating a momentary standoff. The battle raged on, the desert air filled with the sounds of conflict. Dylan knew he couldn't hold the troopers off forever, but he also knew he couldn't afford to lose his focus on Vader. With a final burst of energy, he executed yellow and purple graceful, a waltz of precise strikes adding two 3DGR, each move choreographed to disrupt Vader's defenses. But just as Dylan began to gain the upper hand, a new wave of troopers descended from the dropships. Their numbers were overwhelming, their blaster fire relentless. Dylan's movements became a blur of defensive maneuvers, his estocs working tirelessly to deflect the incoming barrage. Vader, sensing the shift in momentum, pressed his attack. His strikes were powerful, each swing of his saber pushing Dylan closer to the edge. The Sith Lord's mastery of the dark side was evident, his strength seemingly boundless. Dylan knew he needed to make a decisive move. With a surge of determination, he executed Viper and Orange Complexity, rhythm striking rightward and inverted while Tempo held Viper position, adding 3DGR. The maneuver created a visual resonance, the energy fields crackling with intensity. But just as he prepared for the final strike, a blaster bolt grazed his shoulder, the pain momentarily disrupting his focus.
Vader sees the opportunity, his saber striking with unrelenting force. Dylan parried, but the sheer power of the strike pushed him back. The cliffhanger hung in the air as Dylan E.T. found himself cornered, the clone troopers closing in and Vader's presence looming ever larger. The battle was far from over, and Dylan knew that the fight for survival had only just begun. Dash 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 dash. Dylan E.T. felt the searing pain from the blaster bolt as he staggered back, the world narrowing to the immediate threats before him. The clone troopers were closing in, their blasters aimed with deadly precision. Darth Vader loomed, his crimson saber humming with dark energy. Dylan knew he needed a plan, and he needed it fast. Drawing on every ounce of his skill and resolve, Dylan thumbed the number color sides of tempo and rhythm, preparing for the most intricate sequence yet. He could feel the hum of the three DGR hilts, their energy ready to be unleashed. With a sudden, explosive burst of speed, Dylan launched himself into the air, executing a midair blue and green convergence. The cross-block maneuver added two 3DGR, deflecting the incoming blaster fire and creating a protective barrier as he landed amidst the troopers. The troopers were momentarily stunned by the display, giving Dylan the precious seconds he needed. He pivoted, his estocks a blur of motion as he executed yellow and purple graceful. The waltz-like maneuver added two 3DGR, each strike precise and elegant, cutting through the ranks of troopers with deadly efficiency. The troopers fell back, their formation broken, and Dylan seized the opportunity to focus on Vader. The Sith Lord advanced with relentless determination, his saber strikes powerful and unyielding. Dylan countered with Viper and Red Awakening, Rhythm's oriented addition and Tempo's Viper position adding another 3DGR to the battlefield. The clash of their weapons sent sparks flying, the air crackling with energy. Vader pressed his attack, but Dylan's movements were fluid and adaptable. He executed orange and purple retaliation, the inverted addition of two 3DGR striking down leftward with fierce energy. Vader's defenses wavered, but his mastery of the dark side kept him in the fight. The clone troopers regrouped, their blasters firing in unison. Dylan deflected the bolts with Viper and Blue Equilibrium, Tempo in Viper maintaining a holding pattern while Rhythm added 3DGR rightward. The maneuver created a protective barrier, giving Dylan a moment to regroup. With a roar, Vader unleashed a wave of dark side energy, but Dylan was ready. He thumbed the hilts of tempo and rhythm, generating a complex sequence of maneuvers. Viper and orange complexity struck rightward and inverted, adding 3DGR and creating a visual resonance that disrupted Vader's rhythm. The clone troopers pressed their attack, but Dylan was relentless. He executed blue and green disarmament, adding two 3DGR and deflecting the incoming fire with precise movements. His strikes were a blur of energy, each one pushing the troopers back and keeping Vader at bay. Sensing an opportunity, Dylan launched into a final, decisive maneuver. He executed Viper and Red Awakening once more, Rhythm's initiatory activation and Tempo's Viper hold adding another 3DGR. The energy fields crackled as he pressed the attack, driving Vader back with unrelenting force. Vader, sensing his advantage slipping, unleashed a powerful strike, but Dylan met him with the full force of his skill and determination. The clash of their weapons sent shockwaves through the air, the energy crackling with intensity. With a final, powerful strike, Dylan executed orange and purple echoes, rhythm adding 3DGR leftward towards the anchoring 3DGR while Tempo executed an inverted addition. The visual resonance created by the two added 3DGR disrupted Vader's defenses, creating a momentary opening. Dylan seized the opportunity, pressing the attack with the full force of his skill and determination. 
Vader staggered, his defenses breached for a crucial moment. The clone troopers, seeing their leader falter, hesitated. In that brief moment of hesitation, Dylan knew he had to make his move. He launched into blue and green convergence once more, the cross-block maneuver adding two 3D GR and creating a protective barrier. With a final burst of speed, he leapt into the air, executing a mid-air strike that sent Vader reeling. As he landed, Dylan's eyes met Vader's. The Sith Lord's gaze was filled with a mix of anger and grudging respect. But before Vader could recover, Dylan turned and ran, disappearing into the shadows once more. The clone troopers scrambled to follow, but Dylan's agility and knowledge of the terrain gave him the edge. He moved swiftly and silently, his mind racing with the knowledge that the battle was far from over, but he had gained a crucial victory. As he slipped away into the darkness, the sounds of battle faded behind him. The Empire's forces would continue their pursuit, but Dylan E.T. was ready. His twin estocs, tempo and rhythm, thrummed with energy, ready for the next challenge. The saga of Dylan E.T. continued, written in the stars and forged in the fires of conflict. And as long as he had the strength and the will, he would fight on, a beacon of hope against the darkness of the Empire.